and for pe people like Ricky Wynn. Hey, bro, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, man? Why are you shooting up right here, man? I don't know, should I move? I swear to God, every time I come down this block, there's more tents. What the fuck is going on, dude? Do you want to get clean, man? He's not asking to help them carry their bags. He's just adding more to them. So you see someone struggling, and instead of saying, hey, can I help you? You say, here, take some more shit and just pull up your fucking pants. What's wrong with you? At some point during my interview with Lydia Branston, I realized the man I interviewed last episode in San Francisco named Richie Wynn was essentially public enemy number one to the harm reduction community. My name's Richie Wynn. Uh, basically, I'm kind of like a video vigilante, if you will. In the past year, he's built a large online following with his videos, which mostly consist of homeless confrontations. Hey, bro, you know people got kids and stuff like that. You out here crawling up heroin or fentanyl? You can't be doing that right here. Have a little fucking respect, man, for people that pay rent. You shooting up right in here, bro? You want to do that in front of the kids, man? Clean that shit up, bro. That shit's ugly, bro. You can't set things on fire, man. You got to put that out. And he absolutely hates harm reduction. See, this is why I cannot stand the harm reduction people. Because they're turning people into real life schmeagles out here. What you got going, buddy? You all right? Is that the stuff from the harm reduction site? You got to stop fucking with this shit, bro. Where did you get all the stuff in the black bag? These nonprofits, these harm reduction creeps are passing it out on the streets. These harm reduction people that have a stranglehold here on our city here and our tax money, I'm anti-harm reduction. I'm anti-giving out paraphernalia to struggling addicts. So you prefer an abstinence model? Correct. Take them in, start with like a 90-day mandatory sentence, no early release, 90 days in some type of rehab camp or some type of county jail stint and from there, the individuals can detox. Ironically, Richie himself is a former cocaine dealer and cocaine user. So Richie used to deal drugs? Definitely was selling a lot of coke. But after doing time in prison and finding sobriety, he had a dramatic change of heart. I gotta stop smoking that shit in front of the kids, man. Arrest these individuals. Take them into custody. And now spends the majority of his free time filming other people getting high and talking about it on TV. Ricky, thank you for coming on and for all the noise that you've made about what's going on. So why exactly don't you like him? Well, he's an asshole. I mean, let's just call it what it is. The thing is about him is that this is a person who when he was dealing drugs was exploiting people who use drugs. He goes, he gets caught, he goes to prison. He gets out because he claims he had adverse childhood trauma, which I don't, you know, like probably did. The judge cut me a break, sent me to the New Bridge program, which is in Berkeley. They sent me there and it is kind of 12, 12 uh, step based. And then when he gets out of prison and becomes sober, he now is like still exploiting people who use drugs. It's fucking bananas out here. Right, for money. Don't have a disrespect looking like you just got electrocuted. Don't have a disrespect looking like you got knocked out by Debo. He doesn't do this for entertainment. He's getting paid. He's getting paid by clicks. He's getting paid by like the Fox News. He's getting all kinds of like, you know, internet fame and fortune that comes. This is a person who's pulling up the ladder behind him. He got out of his sentence because of leniency of the progressive government. And now he's out there saying, oh, see, I got leniency, but all you, you need to go to jail. The drug use, the tents, I mean, it's just too much now. It's great to say like, you know, I have achieved sobriety and congratulations for him. But then to spread hate across like all of the, the internet on yeah. people who are still struggling, yeah. it's wrong. Obviously there's some pretty heavy beef going on here. So I think I should mention, Richie told me he doesn't do it for the money, the clout, or to spread hate. Like many other conservative activists, he says his primary goal is to protect the children. I don't think the children should have to see it because it's grotesque. A lot of it is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's harsh to see. It is very gruesome. It's graphic stuff and exposing children to its child abuse. Harm reduction advocates, however, do not believe that exposing children to homelessness is child abuse. They actually think it's important for kids to see, and in some cases, even engage with the unhoused. To develop a sense of empathy early on in life for a group of people who are often shunned by polite society. You're creating this sort of sense of like, lack of safety in children by, by pointing out that those people are not worthy 